I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Let it swing right back Back, back Hey you guys, welcome back to another video so in today's video i am using the flexi hand from glitter planet and i've already applied the flexi tips into the hand and now i'm going to come ahead and apply the easy tips the clear ones with the instant nail glue and if you guys want to purchase or are thinking of purchasing from my website then please do use my coupon code ninja5 for five percent off I first off want to start by saying Happy New Year. I'm not sure whether it's going to be like 2020 right now or not, but yeah, regardless, just have an amazing new year and I hope this year coming brings you everything you could possibly want. So as you can see, I'm coming in, I'm just sizing up the easy tips and I'm applying those with the instant nail glue. And honestly, these tips are freaking bomb. I think I'm going to take my current set off and you know just have a full length of these tips just because i've had my nails quite long for around four weeks now i feel like i can deal with the extra length but we'll see i still have emails to answer and parcels to pack and obviously kids and dogs to look after so you know maybe not but we will try so this is what the tips look like once I have applied them. I'm just going to do the last one there on the thumb. And that's what's great about the flexi hand. It has five fingers, five fingers, four fingers and a thumb. It's like a full hand and it's honestly just bomb to work on. So I'm using Nightlight, which is this loose glitter from my website. It's stunning. It's full of multicolored iridescent hexagons. And honestly, it's gorgeous. And I'm also using the magic stick in the size 10, which is my OG freaking bomb ass brush and honestly i love it so freaking much and i'm first off coming in with warm beige which is a super opaque cover powder and this is a core powder but i'm just applying it at the cuticle area and blending it down and you guys are probably going to think this is a little bit weird i'm coming in again at that cuticle area with another bead and i wouldn't do this with a client this is purposely just because of the flexi hand um i like the cuticles to look flush in my pictures and to do that you do like need to build up that apex area at the cuticle like quite far back just to ensure that it's looking nice and i don't know what the word is but just seamless and not like the cuticles are super deep so i like to build that area up slightly more just a tip if you guys purchase or have one of these hands already just build that area up slightly and you'll find that you are getting better results on your finished sets so once I'm happy with the warm beige placement, I'm coming in with night light and honestly, oh, that combination is to die for. Perfect for New Year's or the new year, like literally stinking gorgeous. So basically, I'm going to follow that process again. I'm going to do it on all of the nails. As I said, this is a super simple set, literally anybody can do it it's basically a cover powder at the cuticle area blending it down with no kind of like particular precision with that it doesn't matter where you go to with it or whatever just make sure obviously that that cuticle area is nice and neat and tucked in to ensure that we aren't going to get any lifting if you are doing this on a client and i'm then coming in with a small bead of wet clear acrylic and then with my glitter Oh god guys, honestly I could stare at this glitter all day long, like it's so freaking stunning and I was trying so hard to capture it on camera as you saw there, I just moved my light, I'm not sure if I did it justice because in person it looks absolutely bomb, if you haven't got it in your collection definitely look into trying it out. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do that process and then I'll be back to cap in a little while. Also, guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because, you know, 2020 is going to be lit. It's the year for a billion YouTube videos. You know what I'm saying? I am getting on it with a schedule.
please subscribe and turn on the notification bell guys. Okay, so now I've finished with the application of the acrylic and the glitter, I'm going to come in and encapsulate all of the nails and I'm using Nailmates Crystal Clear Acrylic and it's so beautiful to work with, look at that, like honestly it doesn't run everywhere, it just holds its form, it works when you need it to and it stops when you need to kind of stop and just think for a minute, um, I really really love our Crystal Clear, it's so so beautiful. So I apply one bead and stroke that down the nail and then I come in with my cuticle bead and if you didn't know Notice, I'm not sure if you would I did swap my brush out for the number 16 galaxy aqua brush and this just ensures that when you are capping nails you can get a really large bead of clear and it's just feels like it's done with a, not less effort because you're still going to put that effort in obviously to work the product but it's just done quicker and more consistently since you're only doing it in a couple of beads so next I'm coming in after I've filed and buffed, I'm using Nailmate Super Gloss Top Coat and I'm top coating all of the nails and honestly, mm, jaw-droppingly beautiful, stunning, I'm gonna eat it on my breakfast kind of glitter. Anyway, this is how it looks once I have cured in the light for 60 seconds and applied some cuticle oil. Um, honestly gorgeous could definitely wear these nails as they are like this because this set looks freaking bomb however as it's new year's i wanted to fancy them up a little bit so i'm going to come in with some white gel polish or a gel paint whatever you have to hand and i'm just going to add like a nice random swirly pattern on there so i'm using the nailmate detailer brush and this is a synthetic brush with two ends perfect for like small detailed art um, painting characters and things like that and lettering on nails and um, but it also perfect for this type of design too so literally just randomly painting on these crazy ass design no method to this at all i was literally just placing um the design wherever i fancied and i literally just made it up in my head but anyway i think it still turned out and looked bomb so i'll let you guys watch this little process and then i will be back
anyway i hope you guys have had a fabulous christmas and i don't know let me know what you guys are doing for new year i'm not sure if new year is coming up or if it's past if it has then let me know what you did and if you had a fabulous time hopefully everyone stays safe don't do anything freaking stupid because it's literally not worth it just have fun and enjoy yourself you know just be happy I don't even know what we're doing. We usually like whack on Netflix, eat loads of food, drink loads of cups of tea, you know, get a bit of business done. And by business, I mean emails and admin work, just so you know. Okay guys, so this is the final result. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love how it turned out. You can glam this up even more and add some crystals or rhinestones. You could have added sugared glitter on there, but I fancied just leaving it plain. I thought the contrast of the glitter and the white looked gorgeous. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, remember guys that you are bomb.com. Let us fucking don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back, let it swing right back